Let's uh, switch uh, to uh, uh, Dr. Chiza Besige. Uh, this is uh, arguably one of uh, Uganda's uh, brilliant uh, men, uh, very, very charismatic. I admire him for his uh, courage and some of the things that uh, he has been able to do. Uh, but uh, interestingly, this guy, uh, he has actually competed and lost in the last uh, four elections. What do you make of him? It is very interesting because, in fact, if I had time, I had wanted to remind him uh, that had he won on the fourth attempt, of course, uh, he would clearly have reminded me of uh, Brazilian uh, or former Brazilian president Lula da Silva. That is a man who got it on the fourth attempt. In Dr. Bessiger's case, uh, he has a problem, frankly, because uh, he had said back, you know, early in the year before the elections, that under no circumstances was he going to participate in a process that remained the same. He said there should be fundamental electoral reforms. Short of that, he was not going to participate. So for him participating the first time, frankly, reminds me of a former great scientist, physicist to be, uh, to be precise, uh, Albert Einstein, who won the 1954 Nobel Prize for Physics, who said, if you keep doing the same thing, repeating it over and over again, expecting different results, then surely that must be some sort of insanity. So in this particular case, I would say that, uh, frankly, uh, Dr. Chiza Besige might in fact be suffering from political insanity. Uh, but uh, in uh, his defense, uh, he said that he's actually not doing the same thing. Uh, he, he said this time around he came around with a twist, uh, meaning that uh, he uh, wanted to usher in a new form of campaign uh, by defiance uh, and that he successfully did that. He may have done that, but uh, the question is, did he actually win the election? Well, there is a school of thought there uh, that uh, seems to suggest, even him personally said that he had evidence uh, with him that he actually won this election. You see, not until that evidence is heard in front of uh, uh, a court of law, in front of uh, a credible um, institution, is that evidence going to translate into the truth. The fact of the matter is what we have today is that the Uganda Electoral Commission, supposedly quote-unquote independent electoral commission, announced that President Yoweri Museveni, the incumbent, had won the election with over 60 percent. And the teachers of SG, in fact, had uh, done very well by coming close to 35 percent. The Supreme Court, the highest court in the land, the highest court in Uganda, the Republic of Uganda, which is made up of nine Supreme Court judges, also unanimously on every count, as if, in fact, some might have suggested, as if, in fact, those members were reading from a script. They all agreed on six accounts that the petition, frankly, did not really have any evidence for them uh, to, embrace, to, to embrace it. So they basically dismissed the petition. And once they dismissed the petition, Paul, it meant that the Uganda's highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, endorsed the decision announced by the, the Independent Electoral Commission of Uganda. So whether we like it or not, the candidate that uh, are supposedly won the election was sworn in on May the 12th, 2016. He is... President General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. 